Oh, for f sake, it's supposed to be 11 commands. Are you shitting me? How did I manage to f up the 7? 16 commands and oh, look at oh, shit. <laughs> One of the earliest games I've ever played and fallen in love with is Minesweeper. And that's something we're gonna be looking into today. Have you seen my legs? Uh, well, I actually haven't. You've been sitting behind this desk for as long as I remember. Oh, you haven't seen them either? Well, pretty short, I can imagine. So you don't like to walk. All right. So you need to know how far you need to walk to reach every point in this room. Every tile surrounding you is one tile away, then two, and so on. So some of these distances have been filled already, and the 99s we need to fix. Right, so around him are ones, then there are gonna be twos in a ring around that, then threes, and we can see a three here, then fours, and so on. All right, so my first guess would be we want to get to the nearest data cube, which has the number 99 on it. The problem with that is that we can only say nearest data cube. We can't say of which value the data cube is supposed to be. So what we can do is just step in random directions. Ideally, we want them to go towards the left, but then here, will be the main issue of this level, I can tell already. So they would go around, but then they need to go back as well. I think we just need to do that. Uh, here, there are no data cubes, so I'll say if you are standing on a data cube, only then are we gonna actually do something. And I think we need to figure out if there actually is a non-99 number around them, and if there is, then that's fine, but if they reach like this 99, there's no way to know what number is supposed to be here, right? So we need to progress from these ones, or basically the numbers we've already got filled in. So now I would just check the cubes around the cube they are standing on, and I would probably find the minimum among those. So in case they're standing here, they don't want to just find the 2 or the 3 and write a number. They want the minimum. So it's gonna be the 1s, because this cube is supposed to be a 2. So for each cube around you, we need to find the minimum. So I'm gonna set the minimum in memory 2, initialize at 99. Now, if the cube around you is that's in memory 1, if it's lower than what we have in memory 2, we're gonna set memory 2 to memory 1, so update the minimum value. And we truly need to go through all the data cubes around. I just hope it's not gonna trigger here, like this data cube is a zero, when there isn't any. But we'll see about that later. So now you have the minimum, and I'd say just write it on the data cube, right? So you pick up your data cube after you've gone through that for each. You write, not memory 2, but memory 2 plus 1, because here on this cube we find minimum of 1 and we need to write 2. So let's calculate in memory 3 what is memory 2 plus 1, write that number, and drop the cube again. That should work. Then we repeat all of this, and I feel like I'm forgetting something, but let's just run it for a while and see what happens. I saw a few hundreds there, because they found the 99 value. I suppose that doesn't really matter, does it? It should be fine. They've rewritten those numbers anyway. So we've got two here. Why is there a two here? Why have you written a two? Oh, right. We only want to rewrite the 99s. So if you are standing on a data cube and that data cube is 99, only then do you want to actually compute all this. But now the hundreds here are gonna, yeah, 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 the hundreds are fucked already. So I think we're gonna need another if statement. So you find a cube that is 99. We don't actually need the memory 2, do we? We can say the spot you're standing on instead. Is it is it slower? Oh yeah, that's a lot slower. All right, so memory 2. Forget I said everything. This is memory 1, sorry. 
this is memory 2. Now, you only want to do all of this if you found a non-99 number. So if the minimum around you is not 99, only then do you want to calculate 99 or whatever the number is, plus one, pick it up and write it. Now it's gonna work. Okay, great, so we've got a ring of ones, then twos, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this doesn't, oh, it worked. Okay, great. Are you shitting me? So he's being transferred and the cleaning team is just gonna wipe the floor and clean all this. All right, sure. And none of these, none of these tests actually work. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, none of them, literally none of them. Okay, let's try again and see where this actually goes wrong. It's taking them a long time to get towards the left side. Okay, I think I've got it. This is what I've been afraid of. Let's take a walk towards this area. So the shortest route would be through here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's if he's going from the top. This is a ten. Let's go from the bottom side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this here is supposed to be a nine, but due to the people moving randomly, they reached this spot from the top side first. But we need them ideally to go from the top and the bottom at the same time. So I think this random bit is the wrong part about this code. And I think I might already have a solution for that. We're gonna do another for each direction. And I think, I think we just want to find the 99. So I'd say for each direction, sure, find the 99 value. And from this side, they are gonna step left. These people aren't gonna be able to write anything because around them are 99s as well. But then they check this again, step once more, then they can write and then they can go back. Oh, and what if there are no 99s? Then we're just gonna go left. All right, so let's say if memory 4 is a 99, step to memory 4 and jump out of this loop. Time optimization, all right? And then what if there are no 99s around you? That means you haven't actually jumped out of the loop, in which case you take a step somewhere to the left. Do we need the up and down path? That would be here and here. I don't know. They're gonna be the closest anyway. But yeah, let's leave it there. So this should work, right? Yeah, they got a little stuck here, but now they're going both ways and they've reached from the top again first. So we've got 11s even. This is so wrong. So let's make them go up and down as well, probably since some of the people got stuck here behind this wall. I feel like I'm fixing some stupid bugs and mistakes again. This isn't supposed to work this way. Oh, it worked. All right, but I don't think that all of the test cases are, are gonna work like this. Yeah, yeah, uh, well, none of them. Okay, two, one, two. So they are pretty fast, 130 seconds. Ish. But most of the tests are failing. Can we at least handle the size optimization, the size challenge and do it in 12 commands? Let's see. We need a lot of luck here. So again, we want the people from the top side and the bottom side to reach this area at the same time. The other thing we might want to do is, okay, it's fucked up already. The other thing we might want to do is recalculate every number. So even though here we already have a two, we might want to check the surroundings and see that there is really supposed to be a two. That would take a lot of time. They would have to re-evaluate every number, but it would work. And we actually don't have to do it for every number. Okay, can we go back to, to this challenge and say, not if the data cube is 99, you rewrite it or recalculate. Let's say if it's, actually higher 
then a 9, then you recalculate. Because that would mean you probably went wrong somewhere. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so we're gonna have a few 10s right here, but the rest is 9s. So there, so there's only a few re-evaluations, but the 10s in this area were an issue. So always re-evaluate every 9s. Yeah, yeah, that should be it. And this is a little shit. So what was the way I've done it before? Okay, let's just move in any direction. And yeah, that's it. Let's go. So this is the time optimization, hopefully. This guy is ahead. Okay, never mind. These people are ahead. We've got a 10 here. I don't think it's supposed to be there. And they rechecked it. Put a 9. Yeah, eights, nines. They fixed it. Nice. 16 commands and oh, look at... Oh, shit. <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> Why did that fail? Okay, let me see it. My only guess is that they got stuck and they were moving in random directions and they just ran out of time, maybe? Is that possible? No, they've, they're fixing all the numbers. This should be correct. Oh, sorry. So is there a number that's not higher than a nine and they fucked it up? Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This nine is supposed to be an eight. Oh, shit. Okay, so let's go higher than a eight. Now, hopefully they're not gonna run out of time because there's a lot of nines they're gonna have to check before actually being satisfied. Already some fuck-ups with tens. Oh, that was quite fast. So let's see. Time challenge. Let me see the check mark. Oh, wow. Still much faster than we need to be. That's great. Now we just need to eliminate five commands. Here I can already see four pointless ones. So done. <laughs> oh, that was five. What? I can't count. Uh, but we're at 12 commands now. So there's no. Th this was basically a time optimization. So they wouldn't be walking so randomly but they would target the 99s first. They've got 11s here. Since this was a 99, it was fucked up, but they're fixing it now. They just need to get to this area at random. Almost there, fix this 11, and then it's gonna be done. Okay, something else needs to be fixed. Uh, what needs to be fixed? It's all good, what the shit are you talking about? Uh, did I mess up somewhere? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, eight, is this supposed to be, no, that's supposed to be a nine, that's correct. So I need you to tell me what the shit is wrong. I'm gonna let it run for a while. Oh, is there like an eight issue? Okay, I see it, I see it. This eight is supposed to be a nine. Six, yeah, and this is supposed to be a seven. No, 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 this is supposed to be a seven, that's the issue. All right, so for some reason the game decided that uh, this can be now an issue. Before, no issue at all, but now, suddenly, yeah, yeah, he's going for the size challenge, so fuck him, right? So let's try again. This time they're gonna check even the nines. I mean, eights. Obviously, after seven comes an eight. Idiot. This is taking ages. Just, just go there, come on. It doesn't have to be that difficult. It's random. Random isn't difficult. Fix this ten, for fuck's sake. A nine. The tens are just wrong, aren't they? Yeah, that's because this seven is wrong, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a five. Are you shitting me? How did they manage to fuck up the seven? Oh shit, let's try again. They just went around five. Okay, just don't mess up this time. Start messing up later, please. At eights, not at sevens or earlier. Yeah, this 10 needs to be fixed. And then we're done. Please tell me we're done. Please, someone pick it up. Uh, they picked it up. <laughs> we're not done. Are you shitting me? Two, three. Okay, this here, the three is supposed to be. It's a three. That's correct. I'm seeing things. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have no idea what's wrong now. Okay, honestly, I think this is correct now. So I don't know what the issue is. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sure that this is correct. So now I don't have the end is larger than a seven check. 
uh, which means they actually fucked up the zeros as well, the ones, I mean. Okay, so this doesn't work. Can we do just is larger than a1? So leave the ones alone and do the rest and basically re-evaluate every number you step on, every time. This is gonna take ages, but this has to work now. I don't understand how come I managed to do the time challenge and now suddenly it's impossible for me to complete it in any way at all. That's just not possible, is it? How, how, how can that be? Calculate and write it. If it's not 99, yeah, go around, find the minimum. That should be all right. I mean, why wasn't the code working? But this is taking ages, literally. So they've missed this 99. We've got a 14 here. Wow. Okay, slowly getting there. 7, 8. N now we need these 11s to be taken care of. And I see we've got 8s here. And earlier we would have 9. So perhaps the solution we had before was really wrong. This one... How, how did the one get here? How did the one get there? Oh my god. I mean... Re ever find the minimum? The minimum is three. Are you dumb or something? What the shit? How did the one get there? Did they find a zero? Oh, I think they found a zero. So perhaps this person was evaluating around him and someone was writing a number, let's say here. So he picked up the cube, which means on the ground there was a zero. Could that have happened? So let's say and memory one the cube around you is actually a cube oh that's so retarded and i think i'm gonna go back to higher than let's say a six all right so they don't waste as much time in this area i mean i literally had it like 20 minutes ago how is this taking me so long yes yeah, six seven these are supposed to be sevens okay here we need eights nice nine this is a nine and that's it i don't understand wow this four should be a three shit okay 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 so higher than a three i mean fuck it at this point what's even the point this is ridiculous it has never happened before okay we've got 11s even come on fix that shit put nines there Okay, this one as well, and that's it. Finally. So that should be the size challenge completed. Let me see that. And... Oh, for fuck's sake, it's supposed to be 11 commands. I can't. No way. Oh boy, this is, this is, this is bullshit. Let's rewrite every number. Okay, every time we calculate, let's rewrite. So... Even if we calculate that the minimum around us is actually 99, that's going to be just these three cases. Otherwise, they're always going to have something. Uh, then, yeah, skip that. So here they wrote 100. But since we've got them to recheck it anyway, there are three there's already. This was actually quite a pointless if statement. It basically saved just those three people from calculating a hundred but the next iteration it was already done because they had to step to here so the if statement was actually even hurtful so it impacted our performance because most of the time it gets evaluated to false anyway so okay fix this 10 please and then we're done i think yeah nice so now finally hopefully come on 11 commands nice and the speed challenge had been completed from before. We even failed one. Wow. Anyway, let's continue to the elevator. Show me those two green buttons and that's it. I mean, honestly, did I miss like an obvious way of solving this? I would honestly like to know.